Hey, David, now that I got my、mm-hmm. Gmail account and domain name set up, how do I get my free website again? Let's get started by deploying WordPress on your website, which is also free. So, here's how you do it go ahead and click Got It to clear out the message. And we're gonna go on the menu here, navigation menu on Google Cloud Platform. So, if this menu doesn't show up, just click right here for navigation menu. So, click on here. You're gonna go、mm-hmm. down to Marketplace, which is pretty much at the top. Click on Marketplace. Right here, search for solution. Search for Bitnami WordPress and hit enter.、Oh. You should see four options. The one you want to use is WordPress certified by Bitnami and automatic. This is the、okay. one you want to use. The other ones you'll see here is multi tier, multi site, and this one has Nginx and SSL certified. Don't worry about that. We're just using this one right here WordPress certified by Bitnami and automatic. So go ahead and click on this. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So here we are, WordPress certified by Bitnami and automatic. You're ready to launch? Wait, what is that? What, <laughs> what? is that? $13.61 per month. You promised、ah. me a free website. <laughs> you have very sharp eyes, oh man. But cool it down, cool it down. This is a secret that nobody knows, which is why I'm telling you right now. It's free because Google Cloud has a generous free tier that will cover this cost. But you gotta know where to find it and how to set it up. Ah. Mm hmm. So, I see. Yes. So, here, let me go to Google and just search for GCP free tier. And if you don't know, GCP stands for Google Cloud Platform, which is what we're using. So, here's the free tier. So, this is the website that talks about the Google Cloud free tier. So, scroll down to free tier right here. And there's a lot of stuff that's free. But what we're using is the virtual machine, or what they call Compute Engine. And these are the offering for the free tier, which is actually very generous. And because the photographer's website is typically lightweight, we can take advantage of the free tier offering completely and allow Google to host your website absolutely free. Ah. Yeah. All right. So let's get back to the deployment, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, so back here, all we need to do is click launch. And it says you need to enable billing to use this feature. Go ahead and enable billing. Don't worry. This just means it's going to start using the $300 credit. So enable billing. And of course, remember, there's nothing that's going to be charged right now because all this, we're going to be within the free tier. Got it. So right now, it's just configuring the APIs. This will take a few minutes, so we'll let it run. Oh, there you go. Ah, look at that! So, this is where you configure your WordPress website. For deployment name, let's call this Pixel Story Teller. And you can put any name there. Okay. For zone, this is where you have to be very careful. Remember, for the free tier, we have to be very selective. Let me actually pop out this window. So, we can compare side by side. So, on the free tier website we saw earlier, they say we can host a virtual machine, which we're gonna do, but only in these three regions whether it's US West 1, US Central 1, or US East 1. And、okay. you gotta pick one based on your audience. So, Jeremy, are you expecting your website to be more based on people visiting from the West Coast? The East Coast or from all over the United States? I'm hoping all over the United States. Okay, perfect. So for you, I would recommend Iowa, which is in the center and it covers East and West Coast. Perfect. Yep. All right. So we go over here and we pick zones. And if you scroll to up here, you see there's US East and US Central. Ah,、uh-huh. but you see. There's US Central 1C, US Central 1A, US Central 1F, US Central 1B. Don't worry, you can pick any of those. The detail is that these are different zones, but we don't care what zone, as long as it's in the US Central region. So pick any of these five、Got、C,、it. A, F, or B. So your pick, Jeremy, what would you like? I like the word F. F. You. Yeah, F. <laughs> You too. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pick F for Jeremy. <laughs> yes, F, David. All right, jokes aside, we're gonna pick 
US Central 1F because that's within the free tier here. And this next step, the machine type is very important as well because you notice it picks a default of the small machine. But as we mentioned before, a photographer's website is typically very lightweight. You don't need a small machine. You can even run something even smaller like a micro machine because a photographer's website is typically lightweight and you should be fine with a micro machine. And guess what? If you look over the free tier, the micro instance, as long as you're using only one micro instance, which we are, it's covered in the free tier. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep, so for boot disk, we're going to stick with the standard persistent disk because that's covered by the free tier. In fact, if you look at the free tier, they offer 30 gigabyte hard drive for you to use. Hmm, is mm -hmm. that enough for a photography website? Oh, plenty. 30 gigabyte is plenty. In Good. fact, Let's take advantage of the whole 30 gigabyte because the default is 10. We're just gonna bump it up to 30 because why not? You might actually have more than 10 gigabyte, but you yes, probably let's won't get max up. it out. Yeah, you probably won't get to 30 gigabyte. So 30 gigabyte should be more than enough. Cool, cool, cool. We'll keep everything else here the default. Don't mess with that. Even these two boxes, keep them checked as a default. Basically, it's gonna allow the traffic from the internet to get to your website, which is what you want. Now that we have everything configured, you can scroll up here and you can see the cost estimate did drop down to $6.09, which is not technically zero yet. But don't worry, that's because it's still factoring the cost of one FY micro CPU and one 30 gigabyte hard drive because it thinks you have more than one. But once we move on to the next step and ensure that we only have one instance of this, then the cost will be zero. Okie dokie. Just click here to accept the GCP Marketplace Terms and Service. Make sure you read the Terms and Service and go ahead and click Deploy. Have you read it yet? I've read it and I'm sure you've read it too. Right, Jeremy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. We'll let it deploy right now. Deploying in process. Yep. Ooh, love seeing the word Pixel Storyteller. Ooh, it's working. Working. Mm -hmm. So this is where my little virtual machine is setting up, am I yes. right? Yep. It's and this up. is what we said earlier that we would know where our website located. Yep. Cool. I am in control. Absolutely, my friend. Well, actually, you're in control, but <laughs> who's to judge? Well, I'm going to hand this all over to you once we're done because once you set this up one time, your website will be good to go and you don't have to worry about all this configuration ever again. If you ever need to set anything up, you have full control, but most photographers won't need to set anything up after this. They'll be good to yeah. go. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think I would ever need to go back in here again once it's done. Yep. All right. Look at that. We have finished deploying your website and literally you're, you have a WordPress website now, Jeremy. And it's at this hey, address hey, right hey. here. Yeah, isn't that awesome? So just remember that your username to log into your website is user. And this is your password for now. It's temporary, but keep it in a safe place because throughout your configuration, you need this password. Now, if you ever need to get back to the screen, always go to the navigation menu and you're going to go all the way down to the bottom here to deployment manager. So click on deployment manager and click on your deployment, which is this one right here. And you'll always get back to this information right here, the user and the password. That's my WordPress, right? Yep. So you can actually go to your WordPress website right now by clicking on this link right here. In fact, I'll just copy it and open a new tab right here and paste it here and we'll hit enter. And that should take you to your WordPress website. There it is. Hello world. Yeah. Congratulations! Now you have a WordPress website on the internet. You excited? Yes, because it says hello to me or <laughs> out to the world. Yes. And I got one comment already. Yeah, what's your comment? I don't know. We got one comment on there already. Ah, uh, yes. And that's just a greeting from the uh, WordPress. Yeah. I thought I already got a fan. Oh well. <laughs> don't worry. Your WordPress website is easily crawled by Google. So SEO, 
it's going to be a breeze for any WordPress website because you know that over 50% of all the websites on the internet is on WordPress, which is what mm -hmm. you're using right now. So SEO is going to be better than Squarespace. It's going to be better than Wix or any of the other template website builders out there. So is that it? I have my free website now? Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, there's some things that we're going to fix on this, right? For one thing here, if you notice that the address to your website is actually an IP address, which isn't exactly pixelstoryteller.com. So we're going to have to fix that. And also, if you notice right here, it says it's not secured. So we're going to want to fix that too, because you don't want anyone going to your website and seeing it says it's not secured because they're going to have no trust in your website. Are we going to do it now? We're going to do it in the next video. But okay. there's also one more thing I want to point out. You see that little banner behind you? Well, I, I guess you can't see it because you're blocking it. Mm -hmm. But, oh, there it is. You oh. see that banner right there? That's the Bitnami banner. And you know, we love Bitnami because they offer us this solution to make our WordPress website and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we don't want this banner to be on our website because it's a professional oh, website. I don't want it on my website. Yeah, so we're going to show you how to take that off. So in the next awesome. video, we're going to do all that. Okay, can't wait. Sounds good. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.